Assalamu alaikum. So this is example two of module nine. We are still speaking about ADC in our course microcontrolling stat as professional. So in this example, we are going to use an LCD to show the data received by the ADC. Okay. So we have a sensor. We will use LM35 temperature sensor. Uh, we will read the value through the ADC and then show the value on the LCD. Some important theories about the LCD. So we will use what's called 16 by 2 LCD module, uh, which means that it has 16 columns and two rows for display. These are the pins of the uh, LCD module. It has 16 pins. You can refer to them. It has two operation modes. 4 or 8 mode what we mean by 4 or 8 it's even using 4 bit to receive data or 8 bit to receive data so in the 8 bit mode it requires the 8 bit pins between db0 to db7 so this is the lcd as you see it can operate using 8 bit or 4 bit so in our example we will use only 4 bits And we need to use three control pins RS, R, read, write, RW, and enable. So these are the three pins. In the four mode, it requires only four data pins, which are the pins between DB4 and DB7. So as you see here, only D4 and D7. Also, we still need to, to use the RS, read, write, and enable. Through the 8-bit mode, of course, it's faster, accurate, but it consumes more pins from the microcontrollers. In the 4-bit mode, it's also fast, fast enough, actually, and accurate enough, and more important that it's no need for use a lot of pins from the microcontroller. Uh, so in this example, we are going to use the 4-bit mode and data pins DB0 and up to, to DB3 are not used. So this four pins are not used the implementation are like this so this is our circuit we will connect four pins to uh, between bd0 up to bd3 okay so bd0 is connected to d4 and bd3 is connected to d7 the control pins will be connected to the other three bit from the same port uh, vee and vss to the ground and vdd to the 5 volt VCC. We will use the same sensor that we used in the previous circuit. So this is the temperature sensor and we use pin A1 as input. Okay, so we'll use this time channel 1, not channel 7 as last time. To use the LCD, we need to use the LCD library. I already include for you in the open learning. So these two files should be included in the project. In AVR Studio. So to do so, you go to Solution Explorer, you press Add and Existing Items, and you should already have these two libraries uh, available on your hard disk. So you just upload them to be available in the same solution. Now let's move to the program. So as you see, we include some files. The important one is lcd.h. So this one is the one that we already added here it should be in the same solution okay here we do the initialization so we are using the internal reference 5 volt and we enable the ADEN and we use the 128 pre scaling this is the read function simplified version of it and then this is our main program so our main program we again use ADC result. This ADC result will take the value from ADC read. As you see, this time we pass to the function channel 1 because we are reading from channel 1 because the sensor is connected to channel 1, ADC 1. So after reading, the uh, ADC conversion result we change it to volt then if we want to calculate the temperature we need to divide this one 
by 10 another way you can use directly this because if you calculate you will find that the conversion result is this one so you will find in some references they are directly calculate from the ADC result divided by 2 by 0 0.05 or actually you can calculate like this and divide by 10 so even use this or as we did in the previous example by dividing this by 10 is also possible you see here we define a buffer which is char this will include the text that we are going to send to the LCD so LCD has some function this function is already available in the library that we included in our program so we have clear screen go to position 0 0 write temp value and then this is to change integer to text and we show the temperature and we put what is in the buffer then degree Celsius we go to position 0 1 that's mean column 0 row 1 this one column 0 row 0 so this is here we move to the next uh, line on the LCD which is 16 by 2 we write this again we change the value of the buffer and we put in the buffer on the screen and we write millivolt so this is just to show the value of temp and volt so temp and volt will be shown on the screen okay so this is all about our program just read the value convert it from ADC result to values and show them on the LCD now let's move to the simulator and see how things are working this is the circuit that we are going to use as you see we connect the LCD to the pins of port D so we are using 4 bit mode the control pins are connected to the other pins here you can just follow the connection uh, this is the temperature sensor temperature sensor as you can see is connected to BA one so that means we are going to use ADC one the channel one uh, we upload our program using AVR studio so I already include the program uh, you need to install the libraries so I already download the libraries now you need to select them copy them and go to AVR studio in the project click add existing items and paste your items in the same folder where your project is then you choose them and click add so as you see they will be added to the solution in the solution explorer I already write the program now what I need to do is build it to generate the new hex file so after finish the building after building is succeed we go to the circuit and we upload the hex file now we run the simulator as you see so this is the temperature and this is the millivolt of course changing the value here will change the value on the LCD so very simple program read the value using the ADC convert this value back to temperature and voltage and show it on the LCD as we said the powerful of C programming that you can use the device and install it using the library so no need to write any program for the LCD just download the library we are using actually this library so this library is designed by Mr. Peter Flory and it's available on this website you can download it and use it directly in your program so we are using the library of Mr. Peter Flory you can download it from this website and it's like defined for these types of LCD so you can just download it and use it in your program directly now I'll show you the implementation of the circuit in hardware so actually this is the same circuit so this is our LCD there are actually few lines which is not available in the simulator 
these lines are line 15 and line 16 so this is line 15 it's connected through a resistor to the VCC and this bin 16 so bin 16 is connected to the ground okay another thing to make the appearance of the LCD clearer here the bin number one two three so the bin number three the brown wire this one is actually connected to the mid bin of a potentiometer so this to adjust the brightness of the LCD the same program already uploaded already uh, built so now we just connect and upload it to the so we connect and upload the program to the microcontroller after uploading the program you see this is the result so we see the output on the LCD okay it's a little bit jumping so because uh, this tem temperature sensor is not very accurate and also because we need to make some delay now so I try to increase the temperature and you see temperature is increasing on the LCD also the voltage is increasing so this is the implementation using the LCD we use the library and remember we need to do more, more connection for the hardware of course you can find all this connection uh, in any website so this is an example so you see I need to connect the uh, potentiometer to the bins of the LCD to make it possible to adjust the brightness as you can see okay see using the potentiometer I can adjust the brightness okay thank you for watching the video and see you in next videos